Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2708 back again with another video. Hope you all had a good uh, bank holiday weekend. Um, as promised on probably, when was it? This is probably a, a couple of days overdue, but I announced late last week um, or over the weekend, certainly on my community page, uh, that there was a new collection announcement incoming. So, um, yeah, today is the day. I've been waiting on a couple of um, items coming through the post. Obviously, with it being bank holiday weekend, there's been a delay with the postal service. But thankfully, the two items I was waiting on uh, came yesterday. Um, my good friend James popped across uh, for a catch up last night brought me a couple of uh, items uh, towards this new collection very kindly um, and obviously in between I'd had a, a trip or two trip or two uh, yeah trip or two out into um, the local towns uh, between uh, myself and Ghost Lou and myself and the girlfriend um, and uh, yeah managed to pick up a couple more items as well so oh, itchy nose aside we have a new collection it's movie related as you can tell all from the background i'm all about my movies at the minute i am still uh playing my video games still doing stuff um upstairs in the games room um i mean even yesterday afternoon i had a couple of hours again on uh, Wreckfest on my xbox one still enjoying playing all the video games but my focus primarily for buying stuff and more enjoyment more time i'm putting into um things at the moment is uh, is all my movie related stuff so you'll see from behind me there got a new canvas up one of my all-time favorite movies um probably my all-time did i say all time yeah all-time favorite zombie movie and it's the uh, the movie poster, so that's actually a, a printed canvas from um, 1978, George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. So that came through this morning. Oh my God. Brought it off a, a seller on eBay. Um, and I mean, I very rarely buy from eBay these days, but this one was a pretty good price. And the packaging on it, you're probably expecting me to say it was really bad, but it was completely the opposite. If I was working, if I wasn't retired, um, if I was working, I'd have had to book a full week off work to actually get into the packaging. It was absolutely packaged beyond belief. So obviously it's come through pristine condition. Super happy with it. Like I say, one of my all time favourite films. And, you know, it's it, it sits here nicely on um I, I keep gonna say on this set it's not a set in the background of my uh, my youtube movie uh pick up uh discussion videos that uh, that i put up here on the channel so that's perfect for uh for behind me um as part of the background so waffleage i'm waffling i keep doing it um yeah new collection announcement um Probably, let me get myself comfy, quick slurp. Oh, quick slurp of coffee. Lovely. Right, new movie collection announcement. This probably, I mean, it, it, it goes in, you can see from all of the movies um, behind me, what I've shown on my movie pickups videos um, over the last month or two. Primarily, my main passion is horror movies. Um, you know, I have been picking up uh, all the classic um, old school action films and, you know, the, the really good films that I remember um, growing up. Um, but primarily, my main passion, like I say, is horror movies. Probably 90% of what I watch is horror which, you know, some people would say isn't a good thing, but, you know, I'm still out of prison, so um, so all good on that front. It can't be, it can't be all bad, can it? Um, but, yeah, 90% of what I watch is horror. 
Um, the majority that I've been picking up recently, um, when I've been going out to, you know, the likes of CX and charity shops, um, where I can find them has been horror as well. Um, and I started watching a couple of guys on YouTube. So I've been, um, hunting out the movie related, um, YouTube channels, um, Oh, excuse me, I've not long had dinner. I do it every time. Oh, dear me, I do apologise. Um, a couple of the movie-related channels um, I've been hunting out recently. Found a couple of great guys, um, and I've been absolutely piling my way through their live streams that they did about a year ago on this particular subject. Um, they've been doing, uh, say, these live streams. Um, and I think they were probably, what, three, three to five and a half hours long each. So there's absolutely bugger all on the telly of late. Oh, I'm, I'm even thinking of getting rid of the, the Virgin TV box, cancelling my TV licence and just sticking with YouTube and movies. So TV for me, I can pretty much write off at the minute. Um, so I've been watching their live streams that they recorded um, together a year or so ago um, on, like I say, this particular subject, which I'm going to be uh, dedicating a new collection to. Um, and if you want to check the channel out, guys, um, I mean, I, I speak to them regularly. I'm on their Facebook group now, really enjoy uh, chatting to them and other like minded collectors on that group. I've commented on all of the, the live stream videos from a year ago. Um, and the two guys, you know, they comment backwards and forwards and really, really nice down to earth people. Um, you know, like I say, they share exactly the same passion as me. They're two guys up here in the Northeast as well. So um, I won't say exactly where they are, but you know, they're one, one of them's literally like 10 minutes away from me. Uh, but yeah, both northeastern guys, um, absolutely solid, down to earth guys. Um, you know, hopefully later on down the line, we'll be able to meet up, or we might be able to live stream together for one of our channels. Um, meet up locally, have a beer, and chat all things horror. So you know, that's a, that's a perfect night for me. So uh, later on down the line, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, like I say, link to their channels in the description. Uh, first one is, um, I do apologise if I get your name wrong, it is Mondo Chelovich. Um, so a chap called John, he's the one that hosted uh, the live stream. Um, and then his, his co-presenter, if you like, uh, Nige. Um, he's Rock God 2004 um, he started doing videos on his channel, um, everything from heavy metal to, um, what, what was the heavy metal, um, vinyl soundtracks. So he's got an absolutely amazing vinyl soundtracks collection, um, and movies as well. So between the two of them, John and Nige, absolutely superb chaps, links for both their channels, uh, in the description. And like I say, it's their live streams that I've been binge watching the last week or so that have been like, yeah, I really need to get this collection going now. So the collection after what, nearly 10 minutes and I still haven't told you what it is. I am going to be going for the full Video Nasties um, 72 movie collection. So what that entails, I mean, I, a lot of you that are into your movies all know what the video nasties era, era what the video nasties era was, um, what it entailed, etc. Um, <clears throat> but in a nutshell, if you don't know, obviously you know you can Google it and find out more in depth. But basically, what it was, it was an era in the um, late seventies into the eighties where a group of UK politicians, believe it or not, alongside the likes of Mary Whitehouse, decided they would tell us what we could and what we couldn't watch. Can you believe it? Absolute bullshit. But, like I say, it was something 
that it was it was brought in um you know the likes of america and all of the other countries you know no restrictions whatsoever but the likes of the uk many movies like say 72 titles across two sections were banned and unavailable in this country so you either had to try to import them um from a from another country but they they actually you know they, they, this was criminal if you like um so if you were caught um in possession of these movies the police could confiscate the movies from you and you could be fined and if you were caught distributing the movies you could go to prison you could actually do time for distributing one of these banned movies um it, it beggars belief it really does um but you know that was the the time that we lived in um you know people still were able to you know risk get, getting hold of the movies um but over the years a lot of these movies have been reclassified they've been um reissued some of them fully uncut other ones still cut but obviously what we can do now it's much easier we can order online we can import them um uncut from the likes of america etc um so yeah there was basically um well there was three sections in total on this banned list uh section one and section two is what I'm going to be going for the full collection on um, Blu-ray, uncut, where I can. Um, and then there was a section three as well, which I've not researched at all as yet. I thought, right, let's, you know, get my head down, get it announced on the channel. Let's get the 72 um, completed first, um, you know, over the next, you know, however many, several months. Um, and then I'll look into section three. I mean, there, there's some... I think some pretty mainstream titles now. I think the likes of, was it John Carpenter's The Thing was maybe on section three. If you've ever seen it, you know, it's like, why on earth was that on the um, on the band list? Makes no sense whatsoever. But like I say, it was politicians and the likes of Mary Whitehouse behind this ban. Um, and even looking at some of the movies now that have been made available uncut, you look and you think... There is no way on earth that these people have actually sat and watched these movies and then decided that they were going to ban us from watching them because, you know, they, they don't want kids watching them and all of that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's or you know, what it's going to do to kids if they actually find a copy of Zombie Fleshy to say and sit and watch it. So it's absolutely ludicrous that some of them were banned other ones i mean i watched um believe it or not you can actually watch it uncut on youtube um one of the most stomach churning um horrors if you like um cannibal holocaust that is available on um youtube uncut um and primarily it was banned because of the the real life animal cruelty um that was done by the tribes people in the film and if if you've seen it uncut um you know, the the turtle scene is absolutely brutal goes on far too long i mean it felt like i don't know two or three minutes that they took this you know it, it wasn't um animatronics um it was a real you know turtle god knows i don't know maybe 70 80 90 years old um and they absolutely hacked it to pieces with a machete and you see all the close-up detail you see it's it's limbs still moving and it is brutal to fuck it really is i, I i've seen some stuff over the years but you know that made me sort of like wince and you know turn slightly to the side and feel a little bit uncomfortable um but um you know like i say that's that's how things were and you know i, I was saying to my mate james when he came across for a catch-up last night you know it, we, we were all on about the um the 
the band side of things and Mary Whitehouse and the politicians and all that sort of thing. And I said to him, yeah, but think about it. If they hadn't have banned these titles, then a lot of these 72 we'd have actually, you know, probably passed by, we'd have never heard of, um, you know, there, there'd have never been movies that we'd have um, hunted out in recent times and sat and watched. Um, so, you know, they kind of did us a favour in the end, you know, the hundreds of thousands of movies that, um, that are out uh, for people to watch these days, you know, your chances of finding, um, I don't know, no idea. Likes of Night of the Bloody Apes. Nige, if you're watching my video, I can hear you singing it now to me. Um, yeah, Night of the Bloody Apes probably would have never been on my radar, but the fact that it was section one, I think it was section one, um, of the band list, you know, I, I can go on to IMDB, I can type in um, 72 video nasties, it gives me the full list there, tells me the title, tells me the length of the time um, that it runs uncut, tells me why it was banned, etc. Um, you know, those sorts of titles would have never been on my radar. Uh, but, you know, because of bigoted Mary Whitehouse and her um, eager to control sidekicks and politicians, wanting to make a name for themselves, you know, these uh, politicians that during COVID thought they could tell us what we could not couldn't do and then went ahead and did it themselves. Mmm, sounds familiar, doesn't it? So, anyway, off my soapbox, slurp a coffee, and then I'll show you uh, the first few things that I've brought towards this uh, Video Nasties collection. I do like myself a nice cup of coffee. Right, so as well as um, Nige and John's live streams, um, I've been obviously, you know, making notes of what all of the titles are. John and Nige go into a hell of a lot of detail on the live streams. You know, they show us which versions um, they've got, uh, which ones are um, unrestricted. Um, all of that good stuff so you know I've got a full list now of whether they're UK titles for instance from Arrow Video that I can pick up uncut in this country or if I need to import from the likes of America, um, Severin, um, um, who else, Severin Video and you know the, the other US distributors um, you know Nigel and John have put together this full um, list of which ones you need to get for the best possible releases that were out at the time. Like I say, this was a year ago. Some, uh, um, a couple of titles weren't available at the time. I think one of them is now available. Um, and a couple of them you could only get on DVD. Um, and they've since been released on Blu-ray as well. So I've sort of gone through all of those live streams um, sussed out an initial list of all of the titles, um, which countries release I need to get for the uh, uncut versions. Um, and then I've got a couple of bits here, which came through, um, these came through yesterday. Um, and these are considered, I mean, these are both out of print now, quite pricey on eBay. Uh, they are going up in price. Um, and these are considered to be the Bible, if you like, for um, video nasty collecting. And it is, there we go, so that's the first one. So video nasties, the definitive guide, and I think it's by Nucleus. Yeah, by Nucleus. Um, and this is a three disc, three disc set. So say the likes of eBay, this one's going for 35 to 40 pounds. Um, and luckily I managed to grab the last one from CX online um, and it worked out about £15 cheaper um, even you know including their £3 postage charge so it was chucked to bits to get that one so Liddy came through in the cardboard 
packaging from CX. So unfortunately, that little side bit of the box, where, where are we going there? Has been broke, but like I say, it was the last one available on um, CX. So you know the discs themselves are fine. Um, so you know I've managed to get hold of it. Jobs are good, and so this contains all of the information you'll need on uh, section one and section two. Like I say, there was three sections, um, but section one and two are the um, the primary seventy two. So. That was that one. And these actually contain um, documentaries, um, still galleries, um, original trailers for every single film in the section one and section two list. So 72 movies in total. Um, and this across the three discs is 13 hours and 25 minutes. So absolutely, like I say, it's considered by all of the, you know, the horror collectors. This is the like the ultimate uh, Bible, if you like, for um, video nasties collecting. So that was that one. Show you the back of the box as well. There you go. So you can see all of that. But yeah, like I say, contains trailers and information for every one of the seventy-two. Um, so yeah, super pleased to uh, to grab that one. Thirteen hours. So now I've binged watched all of John and Nigel's um, video nasty live streams. Then these ones are going to be next on the list to um, to sit and plough the time into. So to go alongside it, we have there we go. Apologies for the uh, the ring light. But yeah, so this is the one, um, the second of the video nasties documentaries by um, Nucleus. Uh, this one covers all of section three. So when I'm uh, ready to dip my toes into the waters, ooh, the waters, the waters of section three, then this will be uh, this will be perfect. So there we go. And again, this one is. Um, probably about 13, about 13 hours. And again, it's, it's filled with documentaries, still galleries, um, all of the original trailers, etc. for section three. So this one, again, I think is out of print. There was only two left on the CX. And again, both of them half the price of, um, what average sold prices are on eBay at the minute. So super happy to get those. So 26 hours worth of um, video nasty goodness for me to uh, sit and uh, plow some time into. So there we go, that's that one. Right, and then we are on to the first of my 72 uh, video nasty movie pickups so you know those of you that follow me for collecting in the past will know that you know once I'm focused on something like I was with my Mega Drive collection back in the day I don't do things by halves um, you know I'll pick up a good chunk where I can so to start off this 72 movie collection I have got three four five six seven I've got eight titles already um so yeah not done too bad at all um five of them were local cx pickups so i've probably got five or six cx stores you know all within 20 minute driving distance of where i live um so you know i'm regularly checking if you know myself and ghost loop um, or myself and the girlfriend uh, pop into one of the local towns. I'm always having a quick little um, meander on the um, CX app and look to see if I can pick up any of these um, these 72 um, that have got UK releases. Like I say, there is some that aren't available uncut still in this country. So I'll be looking to import those across from America as and when funds allow and, uh, you know, the ones... Um, crop up for the right price so 
the ones I picked up say these are all section one and section two so I won't keep saying it for everyone you'll get bored and pissed off if uh, if you keep hearing the same thing but we have uh, Madhouse so this is a let's have a look I think it's a two disc set let's have a look yeah two disc set so the girlfriend was uh, out in one of the local towns with her lad doing some shopping etc yesterday and like I say I hopped on to the um, CX app saw that they'd got this one in and decided to well I asked her if she'd pick it up for me and uh, yep she very kindly did so that was the the first one um, released by Arrow Video um, a lot of these Arrow ones do reverse artwork so there we go so I have reversed the cover on this one so a lot of them have the uh, the reverse artwork for um, like the original um, video nasty cover for, you know back from the 80s etc so we've got that one there so this is a 2k restoration from Arrow Video um, includes audio commentary um, documentary etc brand new interview I think Ghost Lou is here so bear with me a second guys I'm going to need to pause and uh, let him in one second oh, right I'm back I've let him in so he wasn't supposed to be back for another hour but he had finished school even though it's school holidays he's gone in to do some uh, engineering coursework and uh, he couldn't be bothered doing the gym afterwards so he's back an hour early and interrupting my video how rude right where was i madhouse so yeah told you all about that one uk arrow release i think from the um early 80s this uh, this particular uh movie i think it was 1981 um but yeah arrow's release is uh, is fully uncut um i don't think it's what i've seen before so um what i will mention actually um, out of the 72, um, I've gone through the full list. I think there's probably 40-ish that I have seen before. Um, so almost half of the list of 72 I haven't seen. So looking forward to watching those for the first time. I may um, even start doing some little movie reviews. You know, whether that's just a, a single five, ten minute review for a particular movie or whether i you know sit down here and say you know these are the movies that i watched last month and then just go through them as a quick overview i don't know but let me know in the suggestions guys let me know in the comments if it's something that uh, you'd be interested in uh, in seeing me do so that was the first one madhouse Right, quick slurp. Oh, he's made me lose me thread. Terrible. Right, next one. Now, oh, say probably, yeah, probably only a couple of these I have actually seen before. So, next one again, another arrow one. So most of these where I'm, I'm able to pick them up within the UK from local CEXs, they will be Arrow releases um, because, like I say, primarily um, most of these Arrow ones for the video nasties have um, been released uh, over recent years uncut. So there we go, the Slayer. Again, I've reversed the artwork on that one. Again, another nice two disc set. Um, and this one says one of the most sought after titles for slasher fans everywhere the slayer finally rises from the ashes of obscurity in a brand new 4k transfer from arrow video so lots of special edition contents uh, 4k scan um, let's have a look audio commentaries 
documentary featuring inter interviews with different people. Um, another documentary, um, the locations of the Slayer, all sorts of goodness. But yeah, looking forward to checking. If I've seen the films before, most of them, I won't have seen all the extras. Um, so yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. Next up, pretty sure I've seen these next three before, although... Yeah, I think, yeah, seen these next three. So, I do catalogue all the stuff that I watch on um, on Letterboxd. But, um, yeah, it's it's been a, a long time, pardon me, since I've, uh, since I've seen these ones. So, House by the Cemetery. That's that one. Um, single disc edition, this one. One by uh, Lucio Fulci. Uh, it says it's one of the finest typically single-minded exercises in zombie terror. So again, special edition with all sorts of um, documentaries, etc. Um, from Arrow Video. So there we go, guys. House by the Cemetery. So I'm, I'm not going to go into detail on all of these. It's literally, you know, uh, explanation uh, video, if you like, of what the new collection is going to be. And, you know, then it's it's going to be pickups from there towards that collection. So next one. Uh, yeah, Arrow video again. So when I collected physical media uh, going back a couple of years now before I attempted and failed to go <laughs> to go fully digital, um, I probably had two to three thousand movies um, again. That was pretty much all horror. So, you know, I had special editions. I had all of the second sight box sets. I had um, a whole tall shelving unit uh, full of Arrow releases. So a lot of these I'm buying back again. Um, but like I say, I'm collecting in a very different way um, going forward. So, um, yeah, we'll... Um, you know, it's it's one of those, you, you know, you live and live and learn, you live for the moment. And, uh, you know, at the time it seemed the right thing to do. But, you know, I'm kicking myself now. I had an absolutely immense um, horror collection. Um, you know, my mate James used to work in the local CEX. And, you know, he he actually was saying last night because a couple of years ago I traded all of these in across a couple of the local um, CX branches um, and I was literally filling uh, the big bags for life um, and taking them in to two or three different stores um, and traded in you know several hundred pounds worth at a time um, and James said when he worked in um, his local store they actually got a phone call from one of the other stores and said, be on the lookout. There's this guy coming in, bringing all this stuff. We think he's, uh, we think he's on the rob. So, you know, they didn't bizarrely for one minute think, well, this guy's got a really good horror collection. You know, they decided to pick up the phone and give one of the other local stores. They probably rang all the local stores, to be honest, um, and said, you know, watch out for this guy. He's bringing in all this high value stuff. Um, we think it might be nicked. Can you believe it? I couldn't bet it's something me and James laugh about. You know, James, I think, turned around to them and said, no, he's brought stuff into us. I know him. He's sound. He's just got a really good horror collection. So, oh, crazy, crazy times. But, yeah, back on, uh, back on track, 35 minutes in. Uh, four more titles to show you after this one. So, there we go. We have Eaten Alive. Um, right, let's have a look. Nearly a decade before he donned Freddy Krueger's famous red and green sweater, horror icon Robert England delivered a supremely sleazy performance in Eaten Alive. Um, another essay in Taut Southern Terror from Toby Hooper, director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, there we go. So, this is one I've seen before and enjoyed, but I haven't rewatched it for a good few years now so looking forward to uh, checking that one out again 
and then the last one from CX um, again seen this one before I did originally kicking myself I got rid of it have this on Arrow Steelbook and it was an absolutely gorgeous steelbook as well um, but yeah we have the burning so absolutely superb slasher movie again from the uh, from the early 80s again i've reversed the artwork on it to um to this one so again i think that was one of the um the original vhs covers so there we go that's that one Let's see what it says on the back of all of the many slice and dice films that emerged in the early 80s few remain as gruesomely effective as the burning the notorious video nasty now finally unleashed on blu-ray and again with it being arrow video absolutely crammed full of uh, extra goodies so i think this is a two disker again there we go two disker and again like i say it's got the reversible artwork and i've switched it around because i much prefer this cover so there we go right <clears throat> on to the last three now super pleased um that i was able to get hold of these like i say my mate james used to be a massive horror collector um still massively into his movies now you know we we, we can sit and chat for hours about movies especially when it comes to horror um he'd still got these um three so you know he's changed his direction with regards to collecting now so he's cleared out a lot of his um movie collection over the years again he was into his steel books and all of that sort of uh, good stuff um but he'd got these three titles still left um which he was going to get rid of um and as soon as he heard i was um going for the full 72 nasties collection um he said if you want them he said i'll do them at a tenner a piece for you um these are american imports so they're not ones that you can get in this country um and yeah let's say probably 25 to 30 pound each if i'd have um, had to import these in um so you know for james to do basically 30 quid for the three instead of me having to spend you know probably close to 90 pounds i was uh, chucked a bit and he dropped them across last night and we had a good catch up for a couple of hours as well so there we go guys this is the first one house on straw hill all three of these i've never heard uh saying never heard uh never watched them before so uh, looking forward to checking these ones out for the first time so we have house on straw hill um so this is the blu-ray and dvd combo pack so it is a oh it's, it's actually a three disc set i forgot this one this is the one um that it's it's got a sticker inside that says strictly limited edition the first three thousand contain a bonus dvd uh, called ban the sadist videos documentary so if I can show you, there we go. So there's the first disc. You can see that sticker there. That's what that says. And then it contains, oh, not the easiest. I'm hoping this is going to be on because I can't see. There we go. But yeah, it contains that uh, that documentary, Van the Sadist videos. So yeah, really looking forward to checking that one out so you can see it's obviously got a bit of cannibal holocaust there on the on the label um <clears throat> let's see what it says on the back of the box um i think these are all um yeah this was a release uh, us release by severin um an erotic thriller with great nudity so not just nudity great nudity apparently uh, and lots of graphic violence totally uncut and uncensored for the first time ever um and it actually says here on the back it remains one of the most notorious thrillers in new, new K, in uk i promise it's only coffee i'm drinking 
UK cinema history, a film so graphically depraved it was banned by British censors for nearly 25 years. Wow. Excellent. Can't wait to check this one out. So, like I say, all three of these, this, this one's actually um, from 1976. All three of these that James brought across, they're, like I say, US imports, but they are uh, region free. So, I have got a, a 4K multi region Blu ray player upstairs, but downstairs, you know, I'll still be able to play these, uh, any of these that are region free on the big telly. So there we go, guys. That was the first one, House on Straw Hill. Next one. I'll tell you why I'm laughing in a minute. I'm not laughing at the film. I'm laughing at Nigel, uh, Rock God, 2004. When he talks about this movie, he sings strokes imitates um the the way the announcer says it on um on the trailer i'm i'm yet to check check the trailer out but every time i see the name of this film i can just hear because he's he's mentioned it so many times on the uh the live streams um this name and it is night of the bloody apes there you go. Nowhere near as good an impression as Nigel does, but check out the live stream, guys, if you've um, if you've an interest in uh, in the video nasties uh, era. So, like I say, John and Nigel, absolutely superb, down to earth guys, and the detail that they go into for for the video nasties is superb. So, really nice, down to earth, and say so quite happy to sit down and watch those those guys. Uh, chew over everything video nasties for uh, for hours on end. So, Night of the Bloody Apes with a slippy slip. So there you go. That's the the slip cover. Oh dear me, itchy nose. There we go. And that's the original cover. So that's that one there. What does it say on the back? Half man, half beast. All horror. Now this one's actually a double feature, so it's Night of the Bloody Apes, which I am not going to sing again, and um, the double feature on it is one called Doctor of Doom. So and it actually says in the the top at the back, one of the first video nasties now restored in 4K from the original 35 millimeter negative. So. There we go. Pretty good. So yeah, two movies there for the for the price of one. So one of the first video nasties screams to the screen in a new 4K uncut version. So there we go. Night of the Bloody Apes. And then the last one for today. So what did I say? I think that's eight, isn't it? is another one with a slip cover look at that cover love it meat cleaver straight down the middle of the head <laughs> so there we go we have a bit of uh, cannibal man so again slip cover so so that's the front of the slip there we go bit of rear action for you that uh you that enjoy that sort of thing so there we go cannibal man coffee's gone to my head i do apologize and oh god i can't show you the back of the box there's um full-on nudity on the back but there we go bit of cannibal man i hope when i'm showing these um for my pickups videos etc that I'm not going to get YouTube strikes or videos taken down. I'm, I am going to have to be careful with some of them, I think. So, But yeah, that's that one. And it says, if you are alone, don't answer the door. The Cannibal Man. Again, this is a, a US Severin release. 
uh, working in a canning plant adjacent to the slaughterhouse, Marcos, not Marcus, Marcos Wades. I oh, know, Mar I thought that was his name, Marcos Wades. No, Marcos Wades daily through rivers of blood down semen, seemingly endless rows of dissected corpses to pick up the meat his plant processed. Like I say, I can't, well, I can show you, no, I'm not going to risk showing you the back of the box, so I can show you the top half, um, but if I show too much of the uh, the bottom half of the box, then uh, I am going to get the uh, the video probably uh, taken down by YouTube. Um, and again, simple inside. Yeah, just checking she got clothes on, so... <laughs> there we go so that's cannibal man so three titles like i say that i would have had to import from america uh very kindly my buddy james came up trumps uh with those um he's also off with his uh his wife to be in the next couple of weeks down to um a local cx further afield and he's uh he's very kindly offered if uh, if i see anything there that i need uh, whether it's on the you know the video nasties uh list uh, or not just let him know and he'll pick them up for me so i will have a sneaky little look in the next week or so before um him and his good lady um go on their road trip um see if there's anything there that i can't pick up locally so there we go guys i've no idea someone's message to me so i can't see maybe nearly 50 minutes ish something like that but it's a new collection i wanted to explain briefly how it came about and also give credit to john and nigel for the immense job that that they did on those video nasty live streams and like i say if you're into your horror um then head over link in the in the description to both john and nigel's channel so there we go guys, that's my new movie collection announcement. Eight out of the 72 obtained already. The rest I'm just gonna, you know, chip, a, chip away where I can, pick them up locally, um, and then just import the odd one across uh, where I can, or look to do trades with people online um, and do it that way from people within the UK, so. There we go. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, guys. So I thought it would be a nice little, um, um, what's the word? Nice little bit of focus, if you like, rather than endless trips out to charity shops. Coming back, um, you know, they're, they're, they are good films um, that I've been coming back with. They are ones that I enjoy watching and will re-watch again. But, you know, it, it's nice to give a bit of focus and... You know, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but, you know, horror is my main passion. It's what I enjoy watching. It's what I enjoy sitting down, talking, chewing over with people. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Let me know in the comments what, um, what your thoughts are, guys. Any of those movies that you've seen before, if you are a Video Nasties collector yourself, again, it'd be nice to hear from you if you do similar sorts of videos on your channel let me know and I'll, I'll head over i am trying to check out um, some more of the movie collecting community where they come up on suggestions or other people recommend them to me so right there we go i'm gonna go and have a catch up with ghost lou see how his day's been so uh, as always guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll be back probably what are we at today wednesday yeah wednesday aren't we Wednesday half well not halfway through the school holidays because it's two weeks for the Easter break so uh, but halfway through the first week so I should be back later on this week with another video um, whether that's a pickups video or a gameplay like I say I'm still enjoying the gaming and um, I you know fancy doing a gameplay so I might do a bit of gameplay on Xbox for uh, for you guys so anyway waffleage over Thanks very much for watching and I'll uh, be back later on in the week with another video. Bye for now.